Okay guys, got a beautiful red fox right here in a set on the long line that Jeremy Jane and I are running. I'm going to get him dispatched and I'll show you how we made that set and we'll do a reset. Okay, so we just got a Vicar square jaw here that we're using for our trap. And this is our trap bed where it was. We got some rocks right here, a nice pile of rocks. Not too far off the road. And basically I just put a dirt hole right here up against the rocks and offset my trap from that. And then winterized it with the wax dirt. So first thing I'll do is I'll reset my trap my pan out of the way here now this set I will tell you just for reference this set was just put in or redone yesterday again I'm not wearing gloves so this thing had fresh scent all over it yesterday when I put it in I'll bury my chain set my trapper off to the side bury my chain as best I can bury my cable And then I'm going to take a little bit of wax dirt and shake it in there. Just like this to use for a solid trap bed. And then I'm going to put my trap right on top of that offset from the hole. Just a little bit and bed it solid. And then I'm going to cover up my trap. Put any chaff off to the side. And this is a mixture of wax dirt and peat moss. Then I try to go ahead and find my pan. I know where that's at, it's right there. Okay. And I try to build up the area around my pan so that I have basically a divot there or a low spot in the set. And you can see these rocks were already here and they didn't move much. I didn't have a whole lot of fencing in here. Just a couple spots to force him to kind of put his foot where I wanted it. Nothing beyond the back jaw of the trap. Just like that's pretty good. I might crowd him a little bit over here. Crowd him just a little bit here. Then I'm going to punch my hole again and make sure my dirt hole's clean right here just like that you can see right there's my right there is my piece of wool that had my bait on it so I'm just gonna shove that right back in there and I'm going to relure and rebate that same hole and I'm using JR and Sons blood brother put a little of that in there and then the next thing I generally do is I will Take that backstop where that rock is and spray some fox or coyote urine on that, just like that. And this is Pro Mix Red Fox scent. Then the final thing I'll do is come back and make sure that my pan's clear and I'll cover my pan. Just like this, with about a quarter of an inch of dirt. And I call that good. Uh, guys, there's something I want to tell you about this set real fast. We caught this fox because this is a big lesson learned. Um, I wish I would have filmed this all along now that we got the progression, but we've lost two animals in this set. We came up here one day and there was a toe in there from a coyote. We came back another day and the trap was pulled out, trap circle, nothing in the trap. So what I decided to do yesterday was change the trap out from a, uh, sorry a trap that has separation in it an offset jaw trap to just a square jaw victor I changed that trap out yesterday redid the set this morning I come out of here red fox so that's a big lesson learned you know sometimes you just have to change things up including sometimes the trap you're using to catch the animals well guys I appreciate you joining me today out here on the trap line again with this red fox that we caught in this set I'm gonna give you a better look at this set now that we've got it in and uh, I appreciate you joining me for this video I appreciate everything you do for me for my school, for my family. I'll be back with another video as soon as I can. Let me give you a quick overview of the set. Turn this camera around, you can see. Right here's where we're at. In case you didn't get a good look at that when I was making the set. 
dirt hole there, fencing, trap beds right there, and we got some rocks for a backstop right here that you can see, and a bush. This is a good travel route for canines right here. Mm -hmm. 